Okay, so let's start with Goku. Probably the greatest controversy about this death battle was sparked by the so-called gravity formula, which was used to calculate Goku's potential. It is indeed strange that this particular approach was used to calculate Goku's abilities. The official power levels would have been a much better approach. I mean, they used the official Super Saiyan multiplications and even the non-canon Super Saiyan 4, but they ignored the power levels? So here a calculation of Goku's abilities based on the official power levels. Screw Attack calculated that Goku flew over Snakeway with a speed of 11,000 km per hour. His power level at that time was 8,000, but he used a Kaoken most of the time. So for the sake of argument, let's say that his power level was at 15,000 most of the time. Super Saiyan Goku and Namek had an official power level of 150 million. Thus Goku at this point should have been able to fly at 110 million kilometers per hour, or roughly one tenth of light speed. Now, assuming that by the end of the series his Super Saiyan was just 10 times stronger than on Namek, which is a reasonable estimate, and using the multiplications for the other Super Saiyan transformations, his top speed as a Super Saiyan 4 should have been at around 88 billion kilometers per hour, or around 81 times light speed. Using his Gallic Gun, Vegeta generated a power level of around 25,000, which would have been enough to destroy planet Earth. Thus a power level of 25,000 is equal to the force of 53 quadrillion megatons of TNT. Using the same approach as before, Goku at his peak should have been able to generate and withstand a force of 254.46 trillion megatons. Roughly 7 times more than calculated by screw attack. So, using the official power levels and multiplications, with a minimal amount of assumptions, we calculated that Goku is indeed much stronger and faster than claimed by screw attack. And now Superman. You see, the problem with Superman is that Screw Attack used a lot of math to calculate his abilities, but they left out some important details. For example, Superman's infinite mass punch is said to generate the force of a supernova, which has a minimal force of 10 octillion megatons. However, this claim cannot withstand any mathematical scrutiny. Superman's official mass is stated to be 102 kg. If he would fly with a speed of 300 million meters per second, then on impact he would generate a force of 4.6 quintillion joules. Since one megaton is the equivalent of 4.2 quadrillion joules, Superman's infinite mass punch would generate a force of just 1,100 megatons. Even if he would fly at his supposed top speed of 17 billion kilometers per hour, then he would generate a force of 1.13 sextillion joules, which would be the equivalent of 269,000 megatons. Thus in both cases he would be far weaker than a supernova. And another thing are Superman's lifting abilities. While moving Earth, an object with a mass of 6.66 trillion tons sounds very impressive. How much energy does this require? I'm assuming Superman was pulling Earth at a speed of 100 km per second, which is more than 3 times faster than the current speed with which Earth orbits the Sun. This feat would require a force of 33 decillion joules, which are the equivalent of 10 quintillion megatons. Even if I screwed up by a factor of 1000, and even if we use Goku's maximum output and durability as calculated by screw attack, then Superman would still have less than one third of Goku's power. As for Superman surviving a supernova, the numbers have shown that Superman can't generate even a fraction of the power of a supernova, thus it is impossible for him to survive one. Thus this feat can be dismissed as inaccurate and impossible for him. So using the same approach as screw attack, and by just filling out the gaps not mentioned or ignored by them, I have mathematically proven that, in terms of speed, Superman is faster than Super Saiyan 3 Goku, but much slower than a Super Saiyan 4. And Superman is stronger than Goku in his base, but not stronger than a Super Saiyan, and far from being stronger than a Super Saiyan 2 or above.